Hi guys, um, I wanted to do a tutorial on the um, hydro dipping with the spray paint with tumblers. So I'll try to do it as in depth as possible. So I'm using an Ozark tumbler from Walmart. Um, this is the 20 ounce and I believe I paid like seven and some change for it at Walmart. I've already went ahead and taped the bottoms and the tops of my cups with electrical tape. It just comes out a lot smoother that way when taking it off the tape. Um, I've sanded it with the 80, um, 80 grit coarse sandpaper um, by 3M. And next I'm going to use a white spray paint primer and then we'll be dipping the cup. So stay tuned. We're gonna start spraying the water. I have a tote here full of pretty cold water. Um, I just use hose water. And then I've already sprayed down my tumbler with the white primer, so that's all set to go. Um, make sure you're pretty quick about it. If you don't have a partner, I would choose less colors so you're not fumbling to try to get the right colors in the right order, because um, speed is definitely key here. Make sure that your um, paint cans are already pre-shaken, because they do have to be shaken up pretty well for them to work correctly, or also just spray air and not actual paint. Ready? All right. I'm going to use this fork, but you can use like a kebab stick and you want to kind of swirl your design around a little bit and try not to mess it up too much. You might have waited a little bit too long for swirling our design. If that's the case, you can always just put in some more and then kind of swirl that around too so that you have some colors to work with. And then I'm gonna give this to my brother so he can wipe away the paint. You wanna go bottom first, and I go up to where my um, electrical tape starts, and you just slowly put it down at kind of an angle. And you wanna make sure you have a container that is deep enough to hold your cup, go ahead and wipe it away. So this part is crucial. Make sure you get all, as much paint as possible away from the cup before you pull it out or else you'll end up with clumps. You kinda just hold it there until it's all gone. Wear gloves if possible because it can get messy. And then you just slowly bring it up. You might have some clumps. It's not that big of a deal. You can just go back and kind of smooth it out with your finger or you can use a witch hazel before it dries. And clumps aren't that bad either. They kind of give it a cool texture, I think. But if you just barely touch it, or even tap the bottom, it'll get all the air bubbles out of there and you'll have a really cool cup. 
Here is my finished cup after removing the tape. And I still need to put a clear coat on it. Um, I think it turned out really awesome. And eventually I will add a decal and then clear coat it again. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped.